Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Last episode, we had a little bit of fun with our boy Shinji and taking down the Hermit Shadow. And honestly, conceptually, it was great. Like if I was a little underprepared, it would have been a blast. Sadly, I'm just too good at video games. I know, it's my curse to bear. Regardless though, it's been a while since we've been at school. Let's see what the student body's up to. What the heck? It's pretty rare for a hottie like that to transfer in this time of year. Who? Dude, I've been your classmate for like months. Dude, get a clue. I'm talking about I guess. Oh. A mysterious babe like that? I know everything about her. Like her measurements. Okay. Good luck getting that. I don't think she knows that. <laughs> What's your shoe size, babe? I don't know. It must suck to be the new girl. All the guys hit on you and pressure you right away. I guess An seems fine. Yeah, she'll be okay. So as far as social links go, really, wait, what? Oh, there's something to do with them all. But yeah, I really want to spend time with Yukari. I do want to look around the school real quick though, just to make sure I'm not missing any Twilight Fragments or anything like that. Mm, it's looking pretty good so far. God, we rarely come out here, do we? Oh, there's somebody checking out the persimetry. Some people are protesting the decision to cut down the tree. Guess they want to try its persimmons? <laughs> yeah, there must be another reason. Yeah, it's a little more complicated. I'm surprised they actually have somebody, like, here commenting on that. But yeah, uh, didn't find crap. Let's uh, check out what's happening in the mall. It might be some Elizabeth request that I'm slacking on. Then I'll hit up you, Gar. You know, just my order of operations. Oh, is there something I can assist you with? You Let's request? find out. I'd like to see proof of a bond. Well, I do have this screenshot. You've already fulfilled the requirements. So, this is proof of one of your bonds. Though it's made out of ordinary material, I can sense some sort of warmth from it. Marvelous. From from the, the screenshot? How bright is your phone screen, Makoto? You nurtured a beautiful bond. A precious, irreplaceable bond. Please take this as your reward. <laughs> Would you get this, Dave and Busters? <laughs> that was rude. It's a free gift. What's the What's the worst? What is it called again? Space badge. Oh dang, that's actually pretty good. Anyway, where were we? Hey there, Yuki. Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. Okay, sounds good. Let's hang. Mm -hmm. Great. Why don't we have? S why don't we head somewhere fun? All right, there's this place I want to check out. Help me pick out something nice, would you? Okay. I. Oh, right. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not good with clothes. I'll be honest. I mean, I wear them. I know. I know about them, but. Hmm. Lilies are too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? Hmm. I feel like... I feel like pink's your color. Just just something to give me that vibe. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I like pink too. <gasps> Who would have thought? I guess we have the same taste, huh? Or I'm a social chameleon. But, yeah. Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it. Gerberas by themselves might be a little plain. Oh crap, oh crap. I don't know flowers. I don't want. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? Oh, God, this. This one's hard. Invite me over then? Honestly, that's. That's some Junpei talk, so I'm gonna pick that. You're so mean. You call Ri. I invite you to my room. The tree. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Oh. Just kidding. Oh, you little. <sighs> Just shot through the heart. Oh well. No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh well. That's that's. Free. I get it. You gotta tease the ones you like. That would imply she really likes Junpei. That's like almost her hobby. So maybe not. Wow, look at the time. What should I get? 
I'm actually a pretty indecisive person. Hmm. Maybe you could just shoot an arrow and whichever one you hit, that's one which you... But you never miss a shot, so like... Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. The Pokemon? I... Okay. After hanging out with Yukari, we head back to the dorm and... I didn't have the matching persona. Whoopsies. That's gonna bite me in the butt. Oh my god. I'm stressing. I'm stressing. Welcome back. How was your day? Terrible. I was bullied. But it wasn't that bad. Kirito Senpai and the others are at the hospital. I won't be back until later today. From what I hear, that girl Chidori won't say anything. God, she's a handful, ain't she? Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartarus until things are under control. Fine. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Okay. Tough call. Because these are my homies. I think we've already finished this. <sighs> it's hard to say. Your son and Sonata son are still at the hospital. Their questioning of Chidori must not be going well. Uh, I'm thinking of a duck. Wait, no, I messed up. Freak. <laughs> I just imagine they're playing Pictionary. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, can anybody use the rooftop planners? Pretty sure. I mean, I, I think I'm in charge up there. I see. It's like they changed some stuff. Can't believe they gave us something like that. Gardening, huh? I mean, you ever tried it? I got some spare gloves. What? Why should I do it with you? Uh, I guess that's fine. You want to do it with me? I'm gonna make sure you do it properly. Shinjiro, phrasing. Don't think you're done once you planted the seeds. If you get impatient, don't bother. Tending to, she's, it's like grilling me over my own garden. What the? Tending to the rooftop planters might help improve the quality of the produce. Let me take a jab at it. Gonna add up. How about you? Are you in or are you out? I'm in. Let's go then. I think that about does it. Hmm. You think you can see this through to the end? What? But yeah. Are you are you talking about the mission or like the the petunias like? Yeah, I got this. No doubt. Good answer. Let's just hope you can maintain that enthusiasm. Once you start something, you gotta see it through to the end. Yeah, I know that. I only dabbled in this back when I was a kid, but it'll probably turn out fine. When I was still at the orphanage, I learned a bunch of stuff with Aki. I'm talking too much. Let's get back to work. We can talk and work at the same time. The plants won't mind if we multitask. I tend to the plants and try not to probe further. That should do it. This kind of work is usually easier with more people. Come help out again when you've got the time. Uh, sure. Yeah, he just kind of like, just kind of like took over here. It's the care we put in. We're gonna get a good heart. Let's head back now. Heck yeah. And wash your hands after handling all that soil. Yes, sir. Friggin'. I guess I didn't have gloves. Oh, what? Better not be Pharaoh. Actually, I prefer that. It's something else happening. <gasps> it looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. Dang, like even even the plots like commenting on my skills with game. <laughs> if they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. 
I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. What does that mean? In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control. Especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. So... So this is not new tech? What the heck? To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. What the? So he's just on a completely different level. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. Oh, he's jealous. I get it. So like this is kind of awkward. Like, why isn't Jin sitting down? Am I feeling attachment uh, for someone? Oh no 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 no! Don't pull that. <laughs> Impossible. Good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gaia? Oh, he doesn't always do this, like. <sighs> Such a thought is beneath me. Alrighty then. That uh That sure was something. I guess our guns or, excuse me, our evokers have the barrel attached though. That one looked like it was missing that piece. Maybe they're not the same thing, but they are both still red. Weird. Anyway. Gossip? Gals! Have you tried that famous people, Umushi? It's only available for a limited time. Bo, Mo! I haven't. Is it new? Yep, yep. But only during fall. Everyone who's anyone's been raving about. What's it got in it? Pumpkin spice? Come on. Lots of shops have been putting out new products lately, like at Manga Star. Wait, you really haven't heard of any of this? Oh, you're kind of the loop, huh? I, I'm really trying to get to college, you mommy! Ah! I don't even know if that's a Japanese name. Just, I think that's a way to say something is flavorful. My Japanese studies, not going great. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? <laughs> You're back again. Uh, Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? I mean... Did she say anything? <laughs> it doesn't even answer. I can explain nothing to you, Sonata San. Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori. You're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me, but I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Junpei, those are hormones, but at the same time, explaining that to everyone else here is going to be hard, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Junpei-kun. He's... <laughs> Jeez. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right. See if you can get through to her. Got it. Man, she just called him desperate. That's after. Uh... Didn't she? Did she? I don't. You okay? 
glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, your arm, it's bleeding. Duh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? Oh my god, there it goes. She does it to herself. Oh my god. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. on your hand back at the station you did that to yourself i never asked for you to worry about me you are the one who jumped to conclusions well i want you to stop you can't be doing that i'm not just saying this because i'm worried about you i don't want to see you hurting yourself all right the doctor will be here soon you should head back Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. <sighs> Jeez, that's heavy. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out the commentary and parallels they're trying to point to. Oh, there's something to do near the dorm? Is it Koromaru? Thank god. Thank god I need to pick me up after that. Arf? Yo. <laughs> What's your schedule looking like? Arf. Alright then. <laughs> Just hanging out with the dog. He's eagerly watching all the people pass by. He's also like wearing his gear, you know, like no no one's like why does that dog have such a weird collar? Maybe the thing is just a collar. Got a little... Wait, what? What's going on? What the dump? Earlier. What the frick? Take a deep breath. One step one step at a time. Come on. We're in trouble. It's my friend. Oh my effing god. He accidentally stepped on a doggy's tail. No. No! Okay, Koromara, you got this, right? Can you negotiate? All right, we gotta hurry. This, this is like an after-school special, but I love it. Oh, man. We're dashing to the scene. Oh, don't. This, this is bad. I'm sorry. The boys at the top of the jungle gym. Koromara's here. God dang. He's saving, Pete. He's saving the whole city and every individual person. I was trying to reason with a stray dog. Okay. Okay, that that <laughs> That's just so many making dog sounds in the microphone. This Kormar sounds a little distinct. Listen to reason, he's just a boy. You remember being a pup? Don't you? There's no let's let's chase it away? I mean, come on, I can't just send you nothing. We'll come to that. Sounds like Homer. Oh, dump. The cut in. Dang, dog. Wait, you know his name? Oh, I guess you've probably seen him before. What's wrong? It's okay. You can come down now. I didn't even scare you, dog. What am I gonna do? He's an alpha. Ah, crud. All right, I'll climb, I'll climb up there. I, it's too high. I shouldn't have climbed up here. Oh, this sucks. I helped him out, and... All right, prop solved. The dog in the jungle gym was so scary. I thought I was going to die. Thanks for helping me, mister. <laughs> Anytime, brother. But don't make it a habit. Besides, you know, I couldn't have done it without her. 
No, I mean, let's get let's give the attention where it deserves. Yeah, thanks, Koromaru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds just like a little kid. <sighs> and I brought them here. I deserve some praise as well, right? I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. Dang. If only he knew. So, even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? Guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. You need it on that? I knew it. Koromaru is this town's watchdog. I found out why Komaru sits there in the sun. It wasn't just a people watch. He's looking oh, out. By the way. That's so precious. I know it's an after school special, but I don't care, man. Are you Koromaru's new owner? I like to. You know, we're, we're just buds. We're like work partners, you know. We're friends. You know, he doesn't own me, I don't know him. You know? Is there really a difference? Stop, hey. Quit asking so many questions. Go home, kid, before you get chased by another dog. Well, as long as he's happy. Uh oh, you better get home soon. Yeah, you should. Whoa, you're right. Zomga! Okay, see you guys later. They would have said Zomga in 2006. I don't know if there's a, a Japanese parallel, but. Maybe they did. Oh, my car just went up. For some effing reason, I don't care anymore. Cause it's a smash. Yeehaw. And again, level five academics. <laughs> anyway. Oh. We're not done. Some beautiful flowers are laid there. And they look new. Are these here to honor the priest? Most likely. Dang, I never thought about that. Were those always there? No, yeah, they were when we first, when uh, Akiko reported, you know, that he got hit by the shadow, the rogue one, you know. How was your day? So, um, you've already seen the message I sent, but I have a favor to ask. What? I didn't. It's about a Matakun. This is just a hunch, but I think he's been feeling kind of down lately. Could you check on him? When you have the time, he should be in his room. My bad, didn't look at my phone. Ever since the second semester, he's been feeling kind of down. Why don't you drop by? Well, yeah, okay. I mean, we could go together. Maybe she doesn't want to. There's so many things we don't understand about Chidori. It's also bizarre that Lucia couldn't sense her. She's not mentally stable right now. Can't imagine what it's like to harm your own body. Yeah, it's nothing to make fun of. It's just an unfortunate situation to be in. But never happens to anyone I know. If you could ask me to check on Ken. Honestly, if I if they didn't stop me at the door, I never would have came upstairs. Thank you, Persona Team. This could be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Let's invade his personal privacy. Hey, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, senpai. Can I help you? Hey, what's with that stance? You doing something in there you don't want me to see? You watching videos on the internet? Unlike. Cause that wasn't really a thing yet. I don't know, 2006. Actually, no, it was, but it was all, like, garbage. Not like now. Uh, I'd like to, uh... Hey, how you been? See any good Let's Plays? Uh, well, I'm okay. That's good. Why are you asking? Fuka forced me to. You aren't worried about me, are you? Hmm. I would just say, like, yeah, I am. If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. Uh... Anyway, if there's anything that does come up in a hypothetical alternate universe, let me know, okay? I'll do that. You're really caring, senpai. <laughs> I try. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Uh... Huh? Oh. Come to think of it, we haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. All right, get in the van. We're going to the corral. Do they have that here? Probably not. Also, don't get in the van. We don't have a van. Um, senpai. Well, let's let's go to Wild Dog where my guy. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? I could eat. You know. I don't even need to get an answer. We're already there. Welcome. Take any open seat. Thank goodness. I thought I thought he was gonna literally shut the door on us. No, I'm okay. Bye bye. Like. 
What's wrong? He's not here. Who? They don't have a mascot. Are you talking about the wild duck burger mascot? Yeah, they don't. They don't. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Okay. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. But it's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. I could not even imagine. I mean, I guess kids are a little more independent, maybe in like a you know Japanese city. But dude, when I was his age, if I even crossed the street, I'd be dead thirty times over, bro. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Oh, so it's not that, not that normalized. Okay. Your order. <laughs> I want to pick this to see his reaction, but he's not going to like it. Oopsie, my finger slipped. Uh, sorry, <laughs> we don't have that here. Oh, I guess not. I'm fine with the regular. I can totally eat that much. Oh, can you? That was mean, senpai. Please don't treat me like a kid. <laughs> Frick, man, my bad. But you are. So I, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata san and that guy who recently joined, Aragaki san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Yeah. Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. Well, why don't you want to know more about my Yukari and Fuka, huh? He's beating around but the bush. It's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. So proper. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. You know, you heard about my MMO skills, have you? Yeah, I was the last person on the server, level one. I'm just that good. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Oh, that? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Whatever. Here you are. That's a lot of food. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona and that it doesn't change. What the frick is this kid talking about? That means what I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Yeah, you don't want me to keep the guy waiting. He's giving, he's giving that 10 yard stare, bro. Wait, 10 yards is not a long what. It's not what it... Oh, whatever. I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Dang, yeah, kids meal is not going to cut it. Phoenix Ranger Featherman <gasps> Hard. The melancholy of Swallow will air this winter as a TV special. No way. I used to love watching this when I was a kid. Huh? <laughs> wow! A spinoff with Swallow as the main character! I gotta make sure I record that! Huh. You like that series too, huh? Yeah! I watch it every week without fail. But this TV special is big news! Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk. Uh, What's wrong? I uh, heard that from a friend. <laughs> TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to, and the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can. You got an indigestion? Did you eat too fast? Is that what's going on? Um, it's nothing. You got crap? Like, we can, you know. I know it's a pain in the butt, but, like, you know. Trains take a while. Trains, you know, like. It's getting late. We should start heading back. Okay, yeah, let's say less. So the people eating in here. It was delicious. What the f No. This food was not delicious. Hey, what did you say about my cooking? Don't let yourself think like that. What the dump is happening? What the dump was that? Hey, Amada. You on your way home? <laughs> Us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, amada -kun? Yes. It's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, Amada. You gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. Why? I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on. We can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? 
I'm sure Amada kun has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, Amada kun Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. My mom! If Amada doesn't <sighs> sorry about us, that. we're gonna get totally free! <sighs> I'm just saying, I'm on like 10 clubs, bro. Like, you know, why not try it? You know, like playing soccer with the boys? Is that it? No, it's not that. Well, frick, then I'm all out of options. I don't... I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. That's like one night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Maybe middle school you can join a club. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Man, it's chill. Let's make our way back to the door. If I wasn't doing this, I'd just be playing trivia all night. Part with the mod and return. That was very extensive. I'm pleasantly surprised about that one. I feel like my academics improved after thinking about what's on Amada's mind. That is... Uh, <laughs> I don't envy the people <laughs> that have to make those up. <laughs> my academics increased because Yukari made fun of me. Got me thinking. On. Yeah. See, it's hard. <laughs> Makoto, sorry I haven't been around lately. I just can't leave her alone. I get it, bro. You gotta explain nothing to me. Been there. Don't ask me why. That's what. You don't, don't gotta tell me. Like. You got this, bro. 100%. Thanks. Thanks, man. Like, no jokes, no ribbing, no teasing either. He's going through a tough time. He could have died that night. And he still has the, uh, empathy in his heart to look after Chidori. Which isn't a joke, but like, you know, he's, he's, he's obviously attracted to her, but still. Anyway. Junpei-san has already left school. He went to the hospital. Lately, he seems to be emotionally distressed. You didn't, like, detect that? Huh. Anyway, I have the matching persona now, so. You're hanging out. Do you want to stop by Polonia Mall together on the way home? Now that it's not haunted by evil shadows. Yeah. I could do that. Okay, let's get going. I want to have a quick little shop trip first, then check out the music store. Gee, so do I, but it's not a thing in this game. Hey, what do you want to do now? Karaoke? That sounds like a blast. Mommy? Where are you? Hmm? God, I can remember this. My memory's a little scary. Like, I remember just like, where the dump is everybody? What's going on? What a scary thought. Hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? Mommy told me to wait here, and uh, she gave me money, but... <laughs> she, she's not going back. <laughs> hey, don't cry. See, you're okay now. I'll stay here with you, all right? Hey, look, we can get help over there. Come on, follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mom, so don't worry. Hey, she's sprang in action. <sighs> what a relief. I'm glad he was able to contact the parents. Yeah, I wonder what happened. Like, I, I cannot imagine. What were they thinking, leaving that poor kid all alone? I know! Stuff like that really makes me upset. But I guess my own mom's no different. Oh, jeez. What makes you say that, Yukari? I have no idea. Your trauma. Why do you want to know? Uh, what is that? What is that tone? She was so nice a little kid, and now she's back to her... Mm. Sorry. I didn't mean to poke fun at you. Yeah, you're dishing out a lot of apologies lately, Missy. Remember what I told you before? How oh, my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. But then, you know, I guess ten years ago? After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. 
Honestly, I'd rather not know. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, okay? Yeah, let's go to karaoke! Woohoo! Uh, could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. Dang. Well, I mean, who am I gonna talk to? I'm a silent protagonist. I think I made that same exact joke twice already. Huh. Regardless, my god. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for karaoke anymore. Neither am I. But that's your fourth apology, Miss Yusakubu. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go. I just cannot imagine not being there for your, like, you, you, your own flesh and blood. Like, I know, I'm gonna be such the, I'm gonna be the worst helicopter dad in the world. I already know I am. I've accepted it. Will I work on it? I mean, but legit, like that's 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 your tribe, you know. Like, breaks my heart. Hey, by the way, how long have you been holding that Chidori girl? Uh, I don't know. I see. Never mind then. That was weird. Junpei. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to mess with him today. <laughs> but his days are numbered. I was just thinking about asking you. Is that Chidori girl still in the hospital? Let's hope she doesn't get in trouble. You seem to be awfully concerned about them. What's up with that? Oh, additionally, we are kind of... Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even want to think about it, but... It is just an awful situation, though. Like, imagine if we didn't have Mitsuru's connections holding her in the hospital. Please. That'd be a nightmare. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's take a look at some English idioms. Oh, my favorite. The English language. I'm an expert. When someone has a big mouth, it means they're a loud mouth or a boastful person. There's also the phrase, spill the beans. So that's why what exactly do those idioms mean, Junpei? Uh, hey, Makoto, do you know? Spell the beans. To reveal a secret. Usually. Yes. That's correct. There are many theories about why the word beans is used. One particularly famous theory says that beans were used to vote in ancient Greece. At that time, they put white beans for yes and black beans for no in the ballot box. And if you spill the beans before voting, it reveal the color and your one secret vote. Oh, that reminds me. Last time, my darling. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're the best, Makoto. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we've already become so popular. Like, we, these don't matter anymore. But I still want to get them right. There is also... I don't, I don't really talk about it or use it because I don't have... I don't even think I have internet on my PS5. No, I do, but... Oh, I'll save it. Oh, anyway, I was gonna say, like, you can press a button and see what other people vote. Don't call me that. Oh. No pet names? All right. Retire that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. He does not take no for an answer, does he? Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. Jesus Christ. I'd just, I just... I actually probably would just cry. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. He is unstoppable. What the dumb? Oh, hmm. these two should get a room. Wait a minute. No, that's a bad idea. I need to buy more protein powder. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, any luck? Whoa, I didn't expect to see him here. She finally started talking. But she hasn't said anything useful so far. It's mostly just telling Iori to not be so loud. <laughs> well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori, what's wrong? There's something right there. An enemy? Wrong. Move. <sighs> Shinori! 
Relax. The persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Hmm. Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hang! Uh, I... Junpei? <sighs> Thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. That's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. God dang. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? what was that? You're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> that scene. Dang, wait! Shinji! Dang, you guys walked all the way here? <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <sighs> Shit. Oh my god, out in public? You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago. When the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so far. I thought you felt the same way. They promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? It's always a mystery with you. My god! Shinji. I don't know why, but man. I just view that scene in a totally different light now. Like, there... I don't, I don't know if it's exactly a dude issue, but... Man, guys just have a hard time opening up. Can't just say what's on his mind. It's clearly a complex issue, but one. Aki. Not a good idea to punch him. I don't. Like, he crossed the line there. I'm sorry. But Shinji's got a lot on his mind. Genuinely, a character I. 
I got a lot to say about him, but now's not the time. When is the time? Ah, you know. We'll talk about it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you next time, all right? More P3 Reload coming soon. Bye.